Hey everyone, this video is going to be the first part of a project to make a thread die holder for the tailstock of this little lathe, and specifically, one that can hold the hex-shaped dies because I already have so many of them. I chose to make this part of the die holder out of a piece of inch and a half aluminum round stock that I cut to length arbitrarily by how much I felt it would be a good size to hold on to. The first main operation was to drill a through hole and work my way up to a half inch diameter. I probably would have gone larger had I had a larger drill bit that was sharp enough to use. With the guide hole drilled, I needed to figure out how much more I needed to bore out to fit the die holder, so some work elsewhere was needed which involved sacrificing the die holder that came with my tap and die set and making a simple jig. The jig for this part of the project is just a simple scrap piece of aluminum with an M6 threaded hole and a shoulder that is a touch smaller than the major diameter of the hex shaped dies. Now it's time for the sacrifice. It's always sad to see a good tool destroyed, but it's worth it for the sake of making a better tool. And I decided to do it this way because I don't have a mill to get close to a hex shape or a huge expensive brooch to cut the hex shape directly. And with the handles removed, the next step is to clean up the outer diameter with the help of the jig. It's simply clamped on using a fender washer and an M6 cap screw. I turned it down enough to leave as much thickness as possible while still removing all the casting marks and design features. Also, it might be worth noting that this appears to be some kind of steel. Because I needed to bore out the end of the handle large enough to accept the freshly turned hex adapter, I wanted to roughly mark the size of the adapter so I know when I'm getting close to the final size. I'm just using the boring bar to slowly increase the size of the hole in the end of the handle. A couple times I made sure that I'm cutting concentric to the guide hole by using the drill bit to check that the guide hole is still centered. 
Probably not super accurate, but I don't think it needs to be super accurate either. I don't think I could have asked for a better fit between the hex adapter and the handle, and now I just need to clean off the oil and the remaining layout fluid and throw a quick bevel on the sharp edges. Since I don't want this to ever come back out, I'm using a very generous amount of green Loctite and pressing the hex adapter into the handle with the help of the jig making a second appearance as a spacer. From the looks of it, the hex adapter seems to be pretty accurately centered around the guide hole. Even when using a die as a reference, it seems to be nearly perfect. The next step is to drill the hole for a set screw in the handle. Since there is already a hole in the hex adapter, I decided to just drill the handle in the same place, but with a larger bit drilling out the existing threads and then tap the entire length with a larger thread. I'm not sure if I got it exactly centered on the original set screw hole, but I'm not complaining at how it turned out. 
I decided to tap it with an M6 thread since that seemed to be the next largest size. I don't think I tapped it entirely straight, but for a set screw it will be fine and seems to work as it should. Also, with the set screw going through both pieces, that will help prevent the hex adapter from spinning inside the handle. The final step of this part of the project is to finish the outside of the handle by first turning it down to a consistent diameter and doing a bit of initial polishing. If I were to make one of these again, I would give myself a little extra material so I don't have to flip the part to finish the outer diameter, but at least this way I don't end up with any scrap. After bringing it to a consistent outer diameter and doing the initial polish, it's time to pull out the knurling tool and add some grip to the finish. I also added a few decorative grooves to the knurling to both add some interest and clean up the spots where I started and stopped the knurling tool. And that's it for this part of the tailstock hex die holder project of making the handle portion. I think it turned out great and will definitely be much nicer to cut threads with this tool instead of the handle that came with the kit, but more importantly this will help ensure that the threads come out perfectly square to the part. Definitely check the description for links to the tap and die kit I've been using as well as that super strong green Loctite if you're interested. Thanks so much for watching, be sure to subscribe so you can see the rest of this project, hit that like button if you saw something worthwhile, and please leave a comment below with your thoughts or suggestions.